Okay, sorry. Um, we will have to be doing the. Okay, my screen is sharing. The thing is recording. I faced yet another technical difficulty, so this is frustrating as frick. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm so dazed. Okay, I hope this is recording. Otherwise, I'm so fed up with this. Okay, so. Now we, we're going to do a KVL at C. But actually, we don't need to do a KVL at C. Why? Because it is revealed to us that I C. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. This is I A, this is I V, and this is I C. So what we can observe in C, right, is that I C is equal to 0.1. Which is this hundred milliamperes? If you change it to amperes, it will be zero point one. So it's actually not due to KVL at C. More so, it's uh from the from the current source. We can tell that IC is actually zero point one, which is the one milli hundred milliampere provided by the current source. Okay, so you can count this as our equation three. So yeah, so. Based on the numerical values, determine the new uh determine the mesh currents. So if you solve one, two, and three, the equation that we derived, you will get these answers. So negative 0 0.036, negative 0 0.004, and 0 0.1. So the negative don't freak out. It just means that we assume and we assume the direction incorrectly. So okay, okay, okay. Let me start from the beginning. At first, we assume the directions to be like this, right? But then because IA and IB are negative, we had to assume the opposite direction. So actually, they move like this, like this. So this is IA. So let's sub in the value. It's just this and this. And this is 0 0.1. Okay, so that's that. Determine what are the power dissipating and which one is generating. So, sadly, this question is pretty funny. They only ask you to do the mesh current analysis, right? So you you might be tempted to think, yay, I don't have to do the no voltage analysis. You are so wrong. Why? Because, look, you want to find the power, right? And how do you find power? P equals to I delta V, where delta V is V start minus Vn. How are you going to find power if you don't know what's the V start minus Vn? So at the end of the day, you need to do no voltage method, sadly. So let's go ahead and do no voltage method. So let's copy this diagram. Let us identify any uh, no voltages that we know. So for example, this is just zero because of the ground. This is 10 volts because you cross from, you start from zero, you plus 10, you move up to a higher potential. So up here will be 10. Nothing else can be known. So just label your unknown nodes. So this is VA. This is VB. Okay, so no voltage method means we had to use KCL. So, so let's do KCL at A. I'm just going to do this very quickly. So we don't know that the current directions assume that they move out, move out, move out, move out. So KCL means current, current going in equals the current going out. Who's the current going into A? Nobody, so it equals zero. So current moving out, V start minus Vn divided by R. So Va minus 10 divided by R1, which is 100 plus. So V start minus Vn, which is Va minus the ground divided by R2 plus. V start minus Vn, Va minus Vb divided by 300. Equation 1, K, C, L, at B. So let us now focus on B. 
So do we know any currents going in? Yes, we know that this current is moving in from the current source, which is 0 0.1. And then do we know any other currents? No, just assume they move out, move out, move out. So going in is 0 0.1. Going out is start from here, end at here. So VB minus the ground. Plus, okay, where else? Start from here, end at here. VB minus VA. Divided by resistance. Equation two. Solve. One and two. Your voltages should be VA equals to 6.4, VB equals to 5.2. So now you want to find powers, right? So what you do is, after you found all your mesh current node voltages, you label them. So this mesh current is, wait, let me check if I get the direction correct. Oops, the direction is wrong. This direction is correct, 0.1. This direction is the opposite way. So this is 0 0.036. This is 0 0.0. 0, 0.04, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you label the node voltages. This is 0, positive 10. We found VA to be 6.4. We found VB to be 5.2. Okay, so now we can find the powers. So find the powers of the resistors. And uh, okay, let's just find the resistors first. So power is given by I delta V, right? Oh, and uh, before you even start this process, right, what you should do is you write a legend for your examiner. So you tell them positive power is dissipating. Well, negative power is generating. And that you are using the convention P equals to I delta V, where is V start minus V end. Okay. I'll explain why we do this later. So first, R1. So what is the current going through R1? The current going through R1 is this mesh current, which is 0 0.036. And what is the V start minus V end? Starts at here, it ends at here, right? Because you see the, the mesh current is flowing when the mesh current flows through R1, it flows from this side to this side. So it starts at 10, ends at this. OK. Then PR2. So R2 is a bit more difficult because what's the net current going through R2? So you have to check who is the larger current. See, there are two currents going through R2, namely 0 0.036, 0 0.04, 0 0.004. So who is larger? Obviously this one, right? So it will follow the direction of this current. So it goes downwards, downwards through R2. Then what is the net current through R2? You take the difference. This minus this. So you get 0 0.032. So then what is the V start minus V end? Starts at here, ends at here. 6.4 minus 0. So this will be. Now let's look at R3. So R3 is also difficult because you have two branch currents. But look at R3. What is the net current going to R3? Notice that. 0. Point, this mesh current 0 0.1 is going from here to here, from right to left. And then look at this 0 0.04. It's also going from right to left. You see, look, it goes in this direction. So it goes from right to left. And then the 0 0.0, the 0 0.1 also goes from right to left. So you see, both of them are going in the same direction. So what's the net current to R3? It's just the sum of 0 0.1 and 0 0.04 in the leftward direction. So the total current will be this. 
OK, and then what's the V start minus Vn? Starts at here, ends at here. So 0.5, sorry, 5.2. 5.2 minus the ground. So this will be. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a look at R4. So what's the current flowing through R4? It's just this 0 0.04, right? And then what's the V start minus Vn? Starts at here, and at here. So. Okay, so this will be. Then what is the voltage through the, I mean the power due to the voltage source. So what's the current through the voltage source? It's just this 0 0.036, right? And then what's the V start minus V and see the current, the mesh current as it flows through V S, it will be starting from here, ending at here. So zero minus 10. Because up here is positive 10 volts. And so this will be negative 0 0.36. And finally, we have our current source. So what's the current through the current source? It's just that what is just that 100 milliampere, which is 0 0.1. Minus the V start minus Vn. So it starts at here, ends at here, 0 minus 5.2. In order to check if you are correct or not, what you need to do is you add up all these powers together. So uh, this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this. And if they give you zero, you know that power is conserved and you know that you are correct with all these values. OK, but in this case, they didn't ask for power conservation, but I'm just going to give you a hint that this is how you could check if your power is correct or not. Um, yeah. OK, so the reason why I asked you to draw this legend out, right, is so that you do not need to explicitly write here. For example, here is uh, dissipating, 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 then dissipating, then generating, then generating. It's going to be such a waste of time just to write this in full, right? I'm just writing DDDs and Gs. That's just a waste of time already. Imagine write the whole thing dissipating, dissipating, generating, generating. So if you one shot give them this, this legend here, then they know, ah, OK, if you calculate it, Positive power, then it's dissipating. If you calculate a negative power, then it's generating. Okay, helps you save time. Okay, let's move on.